while these temperatures are hitting Kern County, somewhere near That's the ocean, true. right, Candy? Yeah. That's right, because we are tracking heat wave number two. Let's take you outside right now. Here's a live, live look of downtown Baker. So we do see a little bit of, of a haze at the distance, and that is going to be because of the air quality we're looking at uh, unhealthy for sensitive groups. So here it is. Let's take a look at those temperatures and still comfortable outside right now. 73 degrees, humidity is at 41 percent, winds are light out of the north, out of the east at three miles per hour. So now our high for today should be around 101. Yesterday we had a high of 99. So Technically, heat wave number two hasn't really started yet. So today will be the first day. The record is 112, set back in 1908, and our sunset tonight will be at 812. So if you're heading out of Kern County today to escape the heat, well, you won't be able to do that nowhere in the Central Valley because our high for Fresno will be about 104, 103 in Sacramento. The coast really will be the perfect place to escape this extreme temperatures we'll experience this weekend. Upper 60s in Morro Bay, 85 in Los Angeles, and if you're heading to Vegas, get ready for sizzling temperatures in a high of 113. Phoenix, 115 today, and that's only the beginning. They're expected to see even hotter temperatures this weekend. So as far as the air quality, today will be unhealthy with an AQI of 147. And uh, so far, we're tracking the heat in the month of July. We have had five days above triple digits. Yesterday, we our high was 99. So today, we're going to be on track for heat wave number two. And, and the long-range models are calling for triple digits. It's towards the end of July, so it's going to be a long stretch. Be make sure that you're careful out there, that you stay hydrated, especially as we head into the week. And you can see this high-pressure system building on in. It's going to settle over Southern California. It's going to amplify, so we'll see this heat wave peaking as we head into the week. And by early next week, we'll see a drop in temperatures just by a few degrees. But overall, we'll remain well above average for this time of year. So watch us and warnings beginning tomorrow. We're going to see an excessive heat warning going to effect all the way through Monday. Even the higher elevations will be under a heat advisory all the way through Monday night as well. So uh, just make sure you stay hydrated because tomorrow is going to be a lot hotter than today. 110 for Saturday, 113 on Sunday, 111 as we head into Monday. So yes, very, very hot out there. So today calls for temperatures in the triple digits across the valley portion of Kern County, up in the mountains also. So very hot um, with 101 in Waffer Heights, 90 in Fraser Park, breezy at times with winds gusting at about 30 miles per hour and out in the desert. Rich Chris today, 111, 107 in California City, 105 in Mojave. We'll talk much more about your extended forecast coming up in a few minutes. Guys, back to you.